thank you to RSF1090 for their generous donation on Patreon. If you would like to join them in their generosity, the link to my Patreon page is in the description. Wolfbine Interactive, Dine Wolf's company behind uh, extracurricular activities, but this time, it ain't that. Oh, sexual content advisory. This game does contain content of an adult nature, including depiction of man sex. Not intended for audiences under the age of 18. Why you gotta call it man sex? What the fuck? Endless bounty! Holy shit! Hello everyone! My name is Duck Link the Trained Unprofessional and welcome! God damn it! Endless bounty! <laughs> I don't know what direction to point in. This game is made by Dine Wolf and a bunch of other- like, I don't know if there's a credits. There we go, credits. Dine Wolf, Gavel, Civ Valian. Okay, so is it Civ Valian or CV4? Because at this point I can't fucking... Like, there's so many names. Made in Renpy. So I'm curious what this... Because I was under the impression this was more of a free room RPG type of thing. I didn't know Renpy could handle all that. Copyright 2019 through the current year. I don't know that that's how copyright works. I've never seen anyone do that. Full transparency here. I'm so fucking excited. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Full transparency here. Uh, the vast majority of all the games I play on my channel, in terms of like the visual novels and all that, those are all generally free, in progress builds, but to my knowledge, not only th is this a complete game, but, uh, it is not free. Uh, on Itch.io, it's $5.99, on Steam, I think it's the same, I don't quite know, but I know that, uh, uh, the link is in the description. I was given a Steam key, uh, to play it, uh, but... For, uh, this is the transparency part, I never accept, I've had a couple of, like, sketchy mobile game offers. People were like, hey, uh, you can play our game for free if you give it a good review. And I'm like, you can go fuck yourself because I don't guarantee a good review on shit. I guarantee the review will be good in quality, but it might not reflect that the game is good. And... Much like this, Dine did not tell me to praise the game. If I don't like it, I will say that I don't. I am optimistic, though, because I've <laughs> liked pretty much everything Dine's made, so... Um, and there's, and Gavel is an amazing artist, and I know Civ, I guess. Uh, CV4, you know, they've they've made music. They made the outro on this channel. The, the, the sound director for this game, they've also worked on Tennis Ace, I believe, and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, they made the outro song for this channel, uh, the one at the end of this video, the same one. Uh, also, I made a music video a while back. Um, music video. It was a bunch of random clips of me and Brie walking through Walmart. Uh, but that was put to uh, a song by CV4. And so, yeah, they're... Everyone involved in this is a fantastic person, very talented, and I'm very excited. So let's just fucking play it. Let's go. Ah! Ah! I love the pixel style. Damn it, where did he go? Where did who go? Oh, oh, minimalist, uh, minimalist, uh, overhead here. Turn my back for a moment and he got away. I swear when I find him again, I'll get my dead or alive bounty one way or another. Oh, we're a bounty hunter, eh? Oh my god. Oh, nah, that didn't quite work. Oh no, I just realized something. Hold on. Uh, shift G. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and fucking do that real quick. My, for some reason, my renderer settings don't fucking work good on my computer. Um, fortunately we didn't get very far before I caught that shit, but, uh, for some reason. That's why on my, a lot of my games, when I would go to save, um, the fucking save block would be, like, just a black, when, like, a black screen when... It's supposed to be, like, a shot of the game itself. So, unfortunately, I have to, like, manually select the angle slash direct X renderer. Which is weird because Windows recently updated and they changed a bunch of settings and programs they didn't have any right to change. So I was hoping that it would fucking automatically do that, but I guess not. Of course, I didn't even give it the opportunity to. I didn't fucking you know, wait to see if it's saved properly or not, but, oh well. Running, 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 yeah, that was smoother, that was smoother. Hmm, someone has been through here recently. Maybe I can find some clues about where he went. Oh, you can click on points of interest on the screen and interact with them. 
Hell yeah! You can navigate to a new screen using the direction arrows on the sides of the screens. Or you can adjust the navigation arrows to appear together on the bottom of the screen in the options menu. I didn't... I did not catch what that last one was. Fuck. This is cool! It's a point and click! I grew up on MS-DOS, my dude! This is fucking awesome! So there seems to be only two areas of interest here. This rock... This rock is covered in moss. Sure is. Looks like someone brushed against it. Maybe he was trying to hide behind it? He's kinda stupid. He probably went deeper into the forest. Alright, well what about this tree? That's in the forest. The branches are way too high for him to reach. I'm not, I'm sure he's not in the tree. Well, those are the only two things to click on on this screen. Except for us, maybe? Nope, okay. So move along. I should keep going. I can't let him get too far ahead of me. I didn't even th- Oh! Oh! That was a little froggy! Are we chasing froggy? Is this the adventures of medieval Big the Cat? I didn't even check if we could click on things multiple times. So, hmm. Ugh, where did he go? That bastard is gonna pay when I find him again. I spent weeks tracking him down. I won't let him get away. Okay, the, the, I gotta, I gotta move my mouse over things slowly because the, the little white outline does not appear immediately. He wouldn't have jumped into the water, would he? There's no way. His wrists were bound. He'd drown. What happens if I click again? Okay, so it's the same. Okay, so, because some games the text changes if you click on things multiple times. Maybe it's just my computer, but like, when I scroll over elements I can click on, the, 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 the fucking animation does not go smoothly. I will say though, this sounds exactly like, uh, oh god, like those, uh, oh, like the old MS-DOS games, fucking King's Quest, and, ah, uh, it's, it's, it's bringing me back to places that I thought were long gone. No more time to waste. Footprints in the dirt. They match the shoes he was wearing. He must have gone up into the mountains. I can't be far behind him. Running, running, running. Looks like I'm close to the top. He couldn't have gone much farther. What's this? What's this? Looks like something... Someone's mining equipment. Yes, it does. Any other... Okay. These crates look to only have rocks in them. We're mining rock, rock, rock. Wait, is that him? Oh shit, Gerald! Oh my God, we're on a hit and run, kill or be killed, fucking dead or alive bounty mission for a guy named Gerald. My God, Gerald, stop right there, Gerald! Did he fucking jump off? Holy shit, that reckless bastard! What is he thinking, jumping from here? If you're dead, I'm still dragging your corpse back! You hear me, you bastard! Tch, damn it. No way in hell I'm jumping, so I'll climb down. Oh, he's flustered. Ugh. I swear, when I catch you again... Da 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 da. Ah, the slow scroll up! Endless bounty. Oh my god! <laughs> the next day, we're at the inn. Oh my god, the big wooden inn. Garbrandt Inn and Bar. Oh, okay. Oh my. After Gerald jumped off the cliff, I lost cliff. I lost his trail. Since I never found a body, he must have survived. This town is was this town was nearby, so I figured it would be a good place to look. I guess I'll see what I can find around here. Are we gonna just not talk about that fucking crotch bulge? I mean, man, you're gonna chafe. What a pain in the ass. Hey, barkeep. Oh, man, look at the fucking. It's it's like. It's with the. Okay, so this is the thing. It's like. Mm. The pixelated art for, like, close-up ones were, like, really good, and, and, ah, my god. What can I do for you, stranger? Have you had any suspicious-looking patrons come in between midday yesterday and now? I got plenty of folks like that around here. You're no exception to that. 
It would be a human, a little shorter than me, leather pants, cotton shirt, open vest, dirty hair. Maybe his hands were bound by rope or even injured. Can't say that rings a bell with me. Would a bit of coin ring any bells? <laughs> coin typically buys information, but I don't have any to give. You sure about that? Aye. I am the leader of the Adventures Guild here in Garbranth. Gbranth, after all. I have a reputation to uphold. Name's Lazarin. Wait. Not THE Lazarin, are you? Lazarin of the Flame? The Flame! The Flame! So you heard of me, eh? Of course! You're the one of the most well-known mercenaries in Freyland! Thank God we know that. <laughs> Stories of your uh, stories about your adventures is stories about is is one of the reasons. Eh. Stories about your adventures one of the reasons I became a mercenary. I never would have thought I'd meet you, let alone meet you in such a remote town. Oh, so you're a mercenary? I am. Here's my badge. <laughs> An A-grade mercenary, huh? Not bad. If you're looking to improve that rank, I have some jobs you can handle if you have time. It seems you're tracking someone right now, though. I am. I caught him several days ago, but he got away from me yesterday. Got you with your pants down, didn't he? I was taking a piss, and he must have gotten the rope from his feet undone. Ha <laughs> ha! It happened to me before. I cut off one of his toes when I caught him again, and he didn't try to escape anymore after that. Maybe I should do that when I find him again. I'd imagine he's still in the area, so I need to find him quickly. If I hear any news, I'll be sure to share it with you. For the right price, of course. Of course. And if you want any other jobs while you're around, talk to me again. Some of the folks in town might have jobs for you, too. Complete them, and they'll report it to me. We'll apply it to your ranking, so make sure to stop by before you head off for good. I will. Good luck to you. Guess, I s guess I'll start around town and see if anyone's seen Gerald. Hopefully someone can give me some information. I'm sure I can get it- get- I'm sure I can get info from everyone. They might offer me hints of where to go. Man! I'm glad I'm being taught how this game works in such a subtle way! Fucking jams, man. I might have to go back to the base of that cliff and look again. That's all I can do for now. I've never been to this region either. Looks like it's time to explore. Look at this, man. It, it's so fucking... Oh, God. It's so... <laughs> oh. This is making me oddly emotional. Like, this is making me oddly fucking emotional. I'm, I'm serious. So we can go back into the bear. I think this takes us back up to the mountain. Oh, or not. This takes us here. Hello, peoples. Can we click on peoples? Are you a new recruit? A new recruit? For the town guards. You look more suitable than the rest. No, I'm not. Just a mercenary looking for a bounty. Too bad. I could use someone like you. Are you the guard captain? Not exactly. The name's- Oh my god, it's Azigal! Holy tits! Well, I already have a voice for him. <laughs> oh, I, know, I didn't think I'd have to do this voice today. Oh, no. Well, in for a penny, in for a pounding. I was hired to trade new guards for this town. It's, a pr it's proving to be... Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's proving to be more difficult than expected. Weak recruits? Weak and lazy, like malignant peasants. They'll never last at this rate. A couple of them have promise, but the rest. Sounds like you have your work more. Yeah, fuck. Sounds like you have throat cancer. Sounds like you have your workout f cut out for you. I do. Well, have fun with that, you creepy fuck. Please tell me you're replacing Azigal. I can't say I am. I'm only out hunting for some. I'm only out hunting for someone. Ah, uh, he's a slave driver. What are you doing? Training as a town guard? Something like that requires hard work. I'm aware of that. This training is borderline cruel, though. God, I like how much expression they're fitting into this fucking... This isn't even 8-bit. This is like... 
pre 8 bit. The fucking graphics are 16 bit, but like the the character sprites, the character sprites are like uh, maybe between 8 bit and 16 bit. That's that's what you would get with uh, computers because they were more powerful than your console, so they could bat they could handle more intense graphics. Um, but your more interactive sprites, you'd have to cut down on the workload and the amount of files that would take up for each character. So the characters would wind up looking a little le uh, less in depth than the backgrounds, but you would fit so much little detail into small little things. Like his eye, his eye is four squares, two for his eyelid, and one is white, one is blue. But even just this little animation of it moving around and him blinking means so fucking much than if it was just like still. Like a still image, like a Mario, for example. This training is borderline cruel, though. We can't defend the town if we're exhausted. Sounds like you have to work harder, then. Well, no sympathy from us. What about this guy? I better not get too close. He's focused on that dummy only. That's not a good... That's not a good, man. When you're training with a weapon like that, you need to be fully aware of your surroundings. Well, let's move along. Hey, we're at the windmill. We're at the windmill. We're at the windmill. Let's talk to this person. Ah, hello there. Welcome to Gabranth, stranger. I'm the mayor of our quiet town. You're the mayor? I am. That is what I literally just said, you deaf git. My husband was, but he died in an accident in the mines. Oh my god, is that a reference to Ek- No, other things have minds, goddammit. It's peaceful here, so it's an easy job. I have plenty of people to help me. What brings you here? I'm a mercenary hunting a bounty. He's a man named Gerald. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Gerald. Oh, is that fucking Captain Gerber? Is that where we're fucking going? Is that where that- yeah, that makes sense. I've been making fun of a talented person this whole time. God damn it. You be a stranger in your town as well. Hmm, I've not seen anyone new lately. Someone else in town might have, though. Is he a dangerous man? Um, I don't know. Yes. Yes. You should be careful. Oh, dear. I'll put out a warning for him. I should have the guards work double, too. I don't want anyone getting hurt. You only have to worry at night, though. During the day, you'll be safe. I see. Thank you for telling me. If you haven't already, you should talk to Lawson at the tavern. He used to be a mercenary. I'm sure he has plenty he can tell you. We did meet. Oh, good. I'm sure you have a lot in common. I still can't believe this is running in Renpy. This is incredible. Sorry. He's needed someone like you to talk to. Be sure to pay him lots of visits. At least once a day. I'll try. Oh, man. I am instantly fucking really excited in playing this game. Oh, my fucking God. Can we go in this place? Can we go in this place? Can we look at this sign? Let's look at the sign. Gabranth, that way. Thendril Forest and the Mount in Mount Garrett is over that way. Well, I want to explore the town more before we leave the town. So let's go down. Let's go down. Oh, we have someone here. Hello, someone. Howdy. Oh, oh God. Word around town is that you're hunting someone. Word travels fast. Tends to in a small in a place this small. I'm afraid I can't help though. Haven't seen anyone unusual around lately. Oh, in that case. Yeah, I'll let you know. Just swing by later. I mean, you're gonna go out to look, right? I am. Well, while you're out there, bring me back any loot you don't want. I deal in private exchanges. I won't judge you for what you bring me, and I won't tell anyone either. So you're a fence. You can say that. I stockpile what I can and go and sell it in Thorndall. Thorndale. Turn a pretty profit, typically. Just keep that info to yourself. Why would you tell me that? You're a mercenary. Unless there's some in it for you, you won't tell anyone. <laughs> you got me. You're a sly one. I'll have to keep an eye on you. Flatterer. 
So, you have anything to sell me? I don't think I have anything to sell. What 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 would I have? I don't have anything. Sorry. Just come see me when you do. A little suspicious of that guy because like he automatically knew what we were doing. So I'm like, I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe our our our, our fucking targets in there. There's a little bird on top of the fucking. There's a little bird on top of the second building there. Oh, that's cute. Oh, we got a couple of people here. What's up? I think I recognize. This one here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just a hunch. Really? Yeah. He just came crashing from the sky. I was near the mountain when it happened. He's lucky the tree was there, but I swear he broke his leg with how it was bent. It looked awful. He was pretty calm, though. Said he'd be fine after some rest. And you just left him there? I went to get help, but he was gone when I got back. Are you sure you didn't just dream him up? Mmm, <laughs> sweats. I swear! Uh-huh. Dreaming about other men, I see. That's not it! That is helpful. Um... He has a broken fucking leg, and he was, uh, last seen near the mountain. So... Uh, I don't know if there is a time mechanic in this game, but... Oh, shit. This isn't where I want to go. I don't know if there is a time mechanic in this game, but if there is, I need to fucking hurry. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, I'm worried. Hello? Greetings, traveler. Hail. You must be the town's doctor. Yep, I fucking knew it! I fucking knew it. Okay. So, context here. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, uh, I'm about a thousand percent sure that this is Dr. Tora, uh, good friend of Dine and fellow member of their their hangout Discord. And when he popped up in extracurricular activities, I didn't get think, put much thought into his voice, and so I just sort of gave him, a, I don't know, something like this probably. But um. He didn't like that, and years later, when I finally met him, the first thing he saw, told to me was that uh, he didn't have a nasally voice, and he didn't appreciate it, and he got fucking salty with me, and every time I have uh, ever had anything he said to me since then, he's gotten fucking salty with me. hes I don't think he's ever said a nice thing to me. If I was less nice, I would give him the nasaliest fucking voice for being a bit of a dick to me. Um, but... I don't like people not liking me. I would much rather get an apology from them than piss them off. So instead, I'm offering the olive branch and I'm gonna give them as not nasally a voice as I can probably muster in hopes that he'll realize that he's been a bit of a dick and will be nice. Hmm. You must be the town's doctor. I am. My name is Tora. Do you need something? I don't. It's good to know your location, though. I see. You look like one to need my help. Judging by all the scars, that is. Indeed. Such is the life of a mercenary. And we're done. So good deal. Let's read the sign. Cabranth, Thundal Forest, and the mines. Okay, so we don't need to go to the mines. We do need to go to the mountains. So, uh, let's get to... Get, I believe we've explored pretty much everywhere in the town yeah I think we've pretty much been everywhere so let's go on our way to the mountain here we go a look around the forest for any clues Gerald should still be in the area so I'll find him I think I'll start at the base of the mountain when he jumped he should have landed near there it's located northeast of the village okay northeast northeast but we're going west, ain't we? Uh-oh. Oh, there's a little bunny that just ran away. It's cute. What's this? Uh, nothing, apparently. Okay. This, oh, there's, oh, it'd be like ants. Oh, that's cool. Moving along. There's a little fucking bird. And it was north, so we need to go up. This is where he should have landed. Let's see if there are any clues around. I see a broken branch. Ha <laughs> ha. This tree looks really healthy. 
Yes. There's no way this branch fell naturally. Yeah, we, we heard that he fell um, onto a tree. Oh! Ha! Can't hide from me! Receive mushrooms. I can never get too many of these. Nice. We got mushrooms. Alright, let's explore to this direction. Oh, I see water. This river is too deep for him to cross safely. Especially since I had his hands tied up and he has a broken leg. Let's see. The inevitable outcome of these point-and-click games is just clicking the fuck out of the screen and hoping to god you find something that you just don't see naturally. Oh! I saw something! Uh, no, I didn't. I just fucking randomly... Went. Looks like the rope I had his hands tied with. He must have cut himself free with this rock. Shit! He could be anywhere now that his hands are free. Chances are he jumped in the river. I need to see where this river leads. Uh, oh! Trigger event! The rope is covered in blood. Did he cut himself trying to get free? Or did he hurt himself when he jumped? Flustered, damn it, that man! Doesn't seem to be much in the way of something we could do. We aren't just gonna jump in the fucking river, apparently, so... I'd like to think that we could get up on that rock, jump over, maybe swing on the vines, but we don't seem to have that option. Maybe we need, like, a boat or something to cross that river. Oh, it's evening time. We might be running out of time. He definitely didn't go this way, though. So, like... Uh, I don't know why I'm going... Oh! Hello, person. What's up? Ah, another traveler. What brings you through here? I'm looking for someone. Have you seen any humans around here? Humans? Don't see many of them at all. I did meet one near here, though. Oh, really? Where? He was near the mountains west of here. I stopped for water and he was sitting there. Said his name was Gerald, I do believe. A friend of yours. He did say he was waiting for someone. Uh, I don't know if friend is the right word. Oh, I see. He was quite the pleasant fellow. Magnificent singing voice, too. Gerald? Sing? Yes, a little surprising for such a gruff guy. It was paired so nicely with my gittern. I could have played all day with him. Alas, I had errands to tend to. Was he still at the water when you parted? He was. He's probably not there knowing him. Well, if you're who he was waiting for, I'm sure you'll find him. When you do, tell him Ari says hello. Maybe we can sing and play together again. I'll be sure to tell him. Well, we know he's not at the water and he was waiting for someone? Uh, mushroom. My mushroom! This looks tasty. Hell yeah, perfect mushroom to eat. Hell yeah. Oh. Oh, snap. I know the- I know this family. I know this family, goddammit. <laughs> What's up, Dine? Mm, why, hello there. What brings you way out here? I'm looking for someone. A man named Gerald. A man named Sue. He has black hair and pants, cotton shirt, brown vest. Maybe you've seen him. He'd be a stranger to the area. The only people I've seen recently are of my usuals. I'm not, I've not seen anyone new lately. You've not seen or heard anything else? Unusual, have you? I haven't. I see. You're new too, aren't you? I am. I'm unfamiliar with the area. My name's Dine, I fucking knew it. My name's Dine. I'm an alchemist. I make a variety of potions and salves to sell. If I see anyone unusual, I'll let Lazarin know. Most people report that stuff to him. I'll be sure to check back with him then. I suppose you're a bounty hunter. You have that look about you. That, and you're looking for someone? Not quite. I'm a mercenary, so I do a lot of odd jobs. Odd jobs, you say? Yes. I have a job posted with the guild here. I'm in need of some misty moss. It grows in areas with lots of sun and warm water mist. I haven't had time to gather any lately, so if you find some, bring it to me. I'll make it worth your while. I can pay with gold or other useful items. I'll keep an eye out then. 
This person you're looking for, is he dangerous? He can be. He's most dangerous at night. So I, oh, he's a werewolf. I didn't even fucking put that together. Duh. He's most dangerous at night. So I'd stay inside. Good to know. I should get back to looking for him. Good luck to you. Oh, can we pet the dog? Can we can we pet the dog? Looks like I can't go inside. He's a pet the dog. Who's <laughs> a good old guard? <laughs> That's right. Hey, we got Bork. Oh, you can't see it. Achievement unlocked, Bork. Oh, it's adorable. Hey, Corny. Looks like you sound asleep. No sense in bothering him. Ah, fine. I'll leave you alone. I know that we saw moss on that rock a while back, but... I don't know. I don't know if we can even go back there. I don't know where that would be. Oh, mushrooms! Mine! These forest mushrooms are nice and tender. They'll add a uh, nice earthy flavor to any dish. Just uh, thinking about it make my mouth water. Speaking of water, we need to get back to the fucking river. Because I feel like I'm missing something. That what I need most is to go down and follow where the river goes. And hopefully I can see that if I go down. Oh! Oh! He went that way! Let me go that way, God damn it! Oh, there's... There's fucking eyes in the forest now. The, the, so there is a time mechanic. Ooh, spooky dookie, dude. Aha! I knew there'd be more water if I looked around. Fucking beautiful this game is, but there's nothing to click on. I can go back to the town, see what's hopping off at night in this uh, funky city. Everyone's gone. Oh, I haven't seen this area yet. Must have missed it. Damn, wonder who it belongs to. Of course I would miss something. I see another mushroom, give me that shit. I almost missed you. Yeah, rock mushrooms. These aren't the best for eating raw. But cooked right, they taste just like meat. I doubt that, but cool. Darren Mind's warning, do not enter. <laughs> I'm tempted to enter. <laughs> Oh, I shouldn't go in the mines. Oh god, I'm nervous. I'm a nervous Nelly. You can barely see anything down here. It's so dark, things might not be obvious. Might not want to see. I might not see where I can go either. I really have to pay attention. Okay. Ugh. Nervous. I'm nervous. It's getting late. I think it's time to rest for the night. Ah, fine. Return to the inn. Fine. Lazarin's looking chatty, but he has new info for me. Well, that's good. Let's talk to him then. Hello. Hail, mercenary. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a room for the evening. I have a couple available. It's 30 gold a night. It comes with your own room and private bath. Sound good? Uh, yeah, I mean, we don't have that much gold, but... Sure, sounds perfect. Great! Your room will be the first one on the left at the top of the stairs. Feel free to hang out all around here until you're ready to go to your room. Uh, well, let's chat with him. I'm just here to chat. I got plenty of time, so let's chat. Well, oh god. I don't think I ever properly introduced myself. You didn't. You got a little excited about who I am. M my name's Droktar. We've heard that name before, haven't we? Pleasure to meet you, Droktar. How long have you been a mercenary? I started around five years ago, and I've been doing it very long. But you're already in A-grade. That's impressive. You must have completed some tough jobs to get there so quickly. I have. I tend to work alone, so I get full credit for the jobs I do. Working alone, huh? You should find a partner to work with. It'll make jobs easier, and at night it won't feel so lonely. Take it from a veteran. You don't want to take, do the job alone forever. I find it easier to only have to worry about myself, and a partner would just slow me down. I thought that way at one point. That all changed one day when I found someone to help me. From that point on, I hated doing jobs alone. Not spending every night by myself was welcomed. Dots. Trust me, you should consider it. 
Take them on a job or two, see how it goes, and decide after that how you feel about it. I've done jobs with a partner before. But he betrayed me. Oh, I see. I'm sorry to hear that. I don't think I'll ever work here with anyone ever again. About the area. This town doesn't seem to be very big. It's not. It's a small, peaceful place. Everyone knows everyone, and so we don't have a lot of problems. Can't say I could ask for a more peaceful place to live out the rest of my life. Rest of your life? You don't look that old. You flatter me, but this old dragon's in his fifties. Fifties? You don't look a day over thirty. Ha <laughs> ha I wish I still I felt that young still. Years and years of adventure and really did a number on my body. About Lazarin. I can't believe you're Lazarin of the Flame. Believe it. That's who I am. I could not be so sure you'd be telling the truth. You can be, I suppose. Then again, that's all part of being a mercenary. Can't always trust someone. You gotta depend on your gut and your instincts. That's true. So, what are yours telling you then? Do you trust that I tell you or not? Oh. Oh, I can't scroll back? I feel like I might have read that wrong in the wrong voice. Oh. Do you trust that I tell him that what I tell you or not? Yeah, let's trust him. What makes you so sure I'm not going to swindle you if you let your guard down? Just a feeling I have. You don't have any malicious intent about, intent about you. And what would you get out of telling a complete stranger who you are? There's nothing for you to gain from me knowing that. Yes, there is. <laughs> An automatic respect. A less... If you know someone from pr something prior, you already respect them going into something, you're going to be more lenient with them. You make a good point. What about Gerald? Have you heard anything about my target yet? It depends on how much gold you have to spend. I was afraid you'd say that. Pay the money. I had a patron mention to me they saw a man in the southwest, southwestern forest near the river. Said he looked like he just finished swimming upstream. You might have some luck if you check that area out. Mm, I'll have to check that out, thanks. And that's about it. Nothing else right now. Just let me know if you need anything. Well... What about this guy? Welcome, friend! Grab a pint and join me! God damn it, I don't have much- I want to join you, but I don't have much money, fuck! I could use a drink. Hey, Lazarin, bring a pitcher of ale over. You got it! Woo! Woo! It's good to have company for a change. What do you do around here? I help protect the town! It's a boring job, though. Nothing ever happens here. Though, tonight, I came across something strange. What was it? There's a secret spot I train in the forest. I was getting ready to leave for... To, for fuck, I don't know. I, I skipped too early. I mess it up! I found someone's clothes on the ground. I didn't have time to examine them, though. A howl like no other tore through the silence. Scared the life out of me, so I ran. How do you protect the town by running? I had to get my bearings straight. It was dark, I couldn't see well. I'd never heard a howl like that before, though. It sounded so unnatural. It was chilling. I've not been back out there yet. I'll check it out when the sun comes up. Some guard you are. You'd have run too if you heard that. Besides, I didn't have my, all my armor either. Still waiting on it to be repaired. Can't fight with broken armor. Uh-huh. Sure thing. That's why you need to wear less armor. Mm, like you. What you're wearing is quite revealing. I'm not afraid of being injured. It's all part of the job. Not relying on my armor to save me. Just makes me fight harder. Hmm. Maybe I need to practice more. Maybe I'll even practice in the nude. I bet that perv as a guy would like that. That's the spirit. Don't let yourself be, be restricted by armor. Yeah, I'll start training naked then. Let me know where. 
I can give you pointers. I didn't mean to yell it out. <laughs> Picture veil didn't last long between the men. Oh, oh yeah. Hey, Luzran. If you're gonna watch me training naked, go to the North Forest. You know, where people get lost a lot. Just follow the rock. Rocky shows the way. Uh, sure thing. Maybe, maybe you'll find others naked too. I found clothes there. Not mine either. <laughs> I don't know if I can get home now. We've barely had anything. I've had plenty. I think I'll sleep at the table just a little bit. Uh, fine. I'll talk to Lazarin. Welcome back, Dog Talk. What can I do for you? I'm gonna go to sleep. I think I'm ready to go to my room. Alright, you're free to head up there. Have a good night. Well, ah, oh, fuck. What a cozy room. Wow, that is a nice room, actually. When was the last time I had a bed? This is gonna be great. And here's my bath. Water is piping hot. Gonna make good use of this tonight. Okay, uh, I'm gonna have to add and post, damn it. I've really needed this. There we go. Ah, this is perfect. Too bad Gerald's a bastard. He's missing out. Maybe I'll just leave him out there. I'll stay here every night. I deserve it to relax every now and then. I'm just gonna soak for a while. The twist is that Gerald was his partner that betrayed him. I don't, but I'm saying that, it sounds like I'm saying that with authority. It's a pure fucking guess. Don't fucking... Nah. I'll get some sleep. I should be refreshed for tomorrow. A new day begins. A new day? You now skip directly to resting time using the tent icon at the top of the screen. Hell yeah! Alright, well, here's the beginning of day two, and I'm gonna go ahead and save here. I'm also going to go to the main menu here real quick. I want to see who we missed. There he goes. Gerald, you bitch. How dare you. How dare you. You motherfucker. Mother, father. God, I love it. I fucking love the, I love the aesthetic. I love the aesthetic. There we are. Okay, so these are the people that I didn't see last time. I think I've seen every screen, but if not, I'm sorry. So, who are you and what do you want? Oh! Oh, that's lovely! It's Mark! It's Mark and his family! My little Rose, you've been so good. Come on, skip. Daddy's almost done. The picture is almost finished. <laughs> Aww, so nice. That's so nice. I'm glad I got. I'm glad I went back to see this. It's so nice, man. I don't think there's anything else I, I've. And it, they're all the way in the west because they're in California. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I've missed anyone else. I don't think I missed anyone else. I don't know for sure. Of course, there are also people who are out and about, not in the fucking town, so there might be more people. I actually haven't seen this area yet at all. Alright, I gotta stop, I gotta stop. I didn't see it. Uh, there's this area here, maybe there was something here during the day, but I was just a couple clicks too late. I don't fucking know. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching the first episode of Endless Bounty. This game is charming as shit, I love it. Um, and I look forward to seeing more from it in the coming days, uh, as I continue to play it. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, I have been the Trained Unprofessional. You're not. Stay safe, everyone. Bye!